Nathan Zagura here at Cleveland Brown Stadium with your clutch transportation post game recap. And folks, this was a great one, right? We got to just enjoy it. A very relaxing, a very comfortable 27 to nothing victory over the Arizona Cardinals. The Browns first shutout on defense since 2007 and the return of Deshaun Watson. And he looked good for the Cleveland Browns in this one. 19 of 30, 219 yards. He would throw for two touchdowns on the day. One to Amari Cooper, one to David Njoku. And in fact, I thought his first long pass to Amari Cooper, a 59 yarder, that was the clutch play of the day. Now it didn't lead to a touchdown on that play. The Browns would go on to score, but that was the throw that showed you that Deshaun Watson was back and he was able to use his arm and his legs very effectively for the Browns quarterback rating of more than 100 in this one. And in his last two full games now, Watson's thrown four touchdowns, no picks and his quarterback rating has been over 100 in both games. And more importantly, he has not turned the ball over in either of those games. The Browns did not have a single giveaway in this one, but it was fun. Watson with the two scores. David Njoku got into the end zone for the second straight week. Amari Cooper over 100 yards. The 33rd 100 yard game of his career the sixth right here in Cleveland Brown Stadium and he would score and then Kareem Hunt for the fourth straight game would find the end zone his fifth rushing touchdown on the season the most he's had in a season since 2021 so that's what happened on offense you wanted to see Deshaun you wanted a referendum is that shoulder back he made that throw to Amari he made another one 41 yards in a double coverage it was an absolute laser right where it had to be. And so, yes, I would say emphatically, Deshaun Watson is back and that shoulder is good for the Browns. But this was a game also about the Browns defense. And we would be remiss if we didn't highlight what this defense was able to do today. They held the Arizona Cardinals to 58 total yards. 58 total yards. That's the fewest in the NFL. The previous low, 94 against Tennessee by the Browns right here in this stadium. 58 yards. Here's the crazy thing. After three plays in the game, Arizona had 23 yards of offense. But the Browns defense would be relentless. They'd give up just one third down conversion. That came in the fourth quarter. They would hold them to one of 12 on the day to 1.2 yards per play. The Browns would have not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven sacks in this one. Dalvin Tomlinson with three of them. Shelby Harris would have a sack strip fumble. Oh, yeah, because the Browns had three takeaways as well. Denzel Ward getting his second interception of the season. Sione Takitaki getting the second interception of his career and his first in 2023, plus that sack strip fumble that was required, recovered by Miles Garrett. Just complete dominance. And they were going against a rookie quarterback. They were going against a team that didn't have their number two receiver, that didn't have their top running back. But this was complete and total domination from the rip by this Browns defense. And so what did you want to see? The D bounce back, check. You want to see if Deshaun Watson's shoulder was okay, check. You saw all of that because now things are going to get much, much tougher. The Browns are headed to Baltimore to take on the 7-2 and two Baltimore Ravens who annihilated the Seattle Seahawks today. So this is going to be a big one, a showdown for supremacy in the AFC North. But for now, we're going to enjoy this victory. We'll have full breakdown for you tomorrow. Myself, Bo Bishop, and the Hoff, Joe Thomas, on Cleveland Browns Daily at 1 o'clock. Browns 27, Cardinals, goose egg, zero. Dominant defense. Watson's shoulder looks good. This should be a happy night in Brownsland. Enjoy it, everybody. This has been the Clutch Transportation post-game recap.